why you should use Anko Layouts for your next Android app. So what An Anko Layouts is for Kotlin is a way to create layouts such as views and layouts without XML it uses pure Kotlin. Now you may be thinking why would you use this? Well, how come you wouldn't use the XML? It's great. You can use the, um, uh, the, the design layout tool. You can drag and drop things. That's really great and all. That's really great for development. But the Anko layout I think is 400% faster than the XML. Um, and that's great because you see all these companies spending billions of dollars to get their website to run 2% faster and you see a, um, a layouts that are 400% faster um, a lot of big apps are going to go after that simply for the speed the development time um, may take a little bit longer but they care about the speed a little bit more because you want that really fast app if you have this app that that's going to run a little slow well, that that's going to make the app look unsecure. It's going to be I'm making it not look as good, mainly because it seems slow. And with layouts, it doesn't affect performance too much. But if you have a lot of stuff going on for your layouts, building the layouts, this could do wonders for you for for development. It may um, it's not going to speed up your whole entire app by 400% exactly it may speed up your your development your um uh, startup time for each activity and fragment maybe by like i don't know five percent i haven't done the numbers yet i will in a later video but um just the speed alone 400 percent um that's opposed to the regular job the regular xml layouts to the anko layouts with Kotlin. Now when you do the Anko layouts you can't use the layout editor, the design layout editor, mainly because it's not XML anymore. You can't drag and drop things into layout. I never really use that. I just use the preview uh, and that doesn't even, ha even have the preview, the, the Anko layouts. Not yet. Maybe in the future since IntelliJ is Kotlin. Maybe they'll they'll um and 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 Google is supporting Kotlin now. Maybe they'll they'll put it in into Kotlin and and be able to have that in the future. But as of right now, that's not in there. You can't preview what you see. So I would recommend building your layouts with XML, and then you're able to convert the XML to Kotlin now. I think that is a huge win for for um, Colin and Anko because you get the benefits of the layout editor and then you can just convert it to Anko layouts and then make a, um, small changes to make it look better for example and that may take only like five or ten minutes maybe even half an hour or so and you don't have to struggle with uh, creating layouts with with Colin and Anko because it is a little bit um, it looks a little bit nicer than XML but it is a little confusing when you get started creating Anko layouts. So they're a lot faster, which will make your app speed up. Not by much, 400% faster as opposed to the XML layouts, but in actual app performance, how our apps do well, it's mainly the, the code that's slowing us down, not really the layout. So you may, you may see like a 5 to 10% start up for each activity speed and that's really it not really a huge amount like 400 percent uh like people are claiming that's mainly for the layout differences not for the code so i think you should go for it just for the performance alone if your app needs the performance boost